Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on Luna 2.0, Luna Classic, and Rap Luna. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. If you have already done so, I want to thank each and every one of you and I appreciate each and every one of you. You're the reason I'm here. So right now you're asking yourself, why are we looking at the Bitcoin price chart when we're going to talk about Luna? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So you see Bitcoin falling. Then we look at Luna 2.0. Guess what's happening? The price is falling. Luna Classic, same exact structure. Falling. Even wrapped Luna is falling with Bitcoin. So here's what I'm trying to tell you. And I told you this in many videos. When Bitcoin pumps, these coins are going to pump with it. When Bitcoin falls, it's going to fall with it. That's how it works. And then we see this. We need to set a buy date and time to kill two zeros. Pumps are not overly good, but in this situation, it's war. Once we get more followers, we can rally and set the date and time. So let's test the temperature. If everyone agrees with this, hit the like and retweet. Here's the problem with organized pumps like this. People know when it's going to happen, what day and what time. So what happens is the price gets up so far and then they feel they made some money. So they want to sell. Then the price comes back down. On the other hand, if you do it on a day that Bitcoin is already pumping back up to the upside and you do this, no one will know when to sell because it will continue to pump after they sell. And that would make more sense in this situation. But I do understand why everyone wants to do this. Then we see this. Good morning, Luna Classic Army. This week will be great. Luna Classic will explode. So there's a lot of optimism out there right now. Unpopular opinion. Luna Classic does not have to burn in order for it to test a dollar or even a penny. And that's what I just showed you. So say Bitcoin makes it back up to $50,000. It don't matter if you're burning Luna at the time. That might help the price some. It doesn't matter what's going on. It is going to take Luna Classic with it. It's going to take Luna 2.0 with it. People that are saying Luna 2.0 is not going to hit $10 this year. You don't know that because you don't know where Bitcoin's going this year. When the market starts to move, these coins will move with it so then we see this stop stop the spread of negative feelings about luna classic and let's focus for a better future at the end you can do it nothing about it anyway so here's what they're saying here is stop spreading all the negative stuff on twitter of course it's going it's the narrative is going to be negative when the price is falling that's just how crypto works. It don't matter what crypto you hold. Because anytime the, your, the price of your coin is dropping, whatever it may be, you're going to be like, oh, this is terrible. It's dropping again. And of course, the negativity is going to come out all over Twitter about everything not moving, the price is going down. And I think that's just the narrative that gets set. So I'm not even going to look too far into that because I think once things start moving to the upside, that'll all change. So now we're going to talk about Luna 2.0 and this is what's going on right now. So Luna 2.0 token lost 56% since last week. Whistleblower accuses Terraform Labs of owning shadow wallets. That instantly pushed the price down. But... I think it was a couple other things bringing the price down. Like right now, it's down mostly because Bitcoin is down. If Bitcoin starts moving to the upside, it'll probably go over $5 once it hits 30K, 31K. I mean, but we don't know because there is a lot of negativity about Luna 2.0 right now. And I mean, think about it. First off, no one trusts this guy. No quant, period. So then they find out that there's shadow wallets being held, things like that. It, it also brings this into factor. The fear and greed index is still sitting at 11. 
people are worried about investing in this coin. But I do see some solid projects coming out on it. But the price isn't going to move as quick as people think until all of this kind of, you know, time. It's going to take time for people to get over this. And they should have never rushed this fork to begin with. They should have took their time, you know, built it better, you know, gave people more hope on it, I guess is what I'm saying. And then we see this. So the Luna 2.0 airdrop exposes investors in India to tax burdens. So you, it's like a dominoes whenever you see something like this happen. You know, whenever the narrative is set, you'll see this kind of stuff coming out. And then you'll see this. Indian investors who received a Luna 2.0 token via the airdrop will face a 30% tax. They cannot offset losses from the original Luna token against any new gains. So that is probably true. But you'll see stuff like this get released every single time that, some, that the fear and greed index is down and negative news is coming out about an asset. Like the shadow wallets came out first and this came out. And that's how the news spreads. And then nothing moves. But it's still going to move. I'm telling you right now. Luna 2.0 will move with Bitcoin. Doesn't matter when. It's going to happen. So then we're going to talk about Rap Luna. So Rap Luna keeps going higher. I'm going to pump so hard when Coinbase opens it back up. But here's the thing, right now, again, Bitcoin is pushing the price down. So if Bitcoin moves, then it gets to relisting, of course it's going to move to the upside. Now, Coinbase, when are you resuming trading for Wrapped Luna and fixing your Wrapped Luna price? Again, the smart contract is probably the biggest thing talked about with Luna right now. Because people believe that that contract is immutable and it says it's immutable i also believe that it should pay 2.0 and not luna classic you can't just change the name of something and all of a sudden that fixes the contract it doesn't work like that so what exactly is going on here this is where we see prices different they're always different on coinbase and i said this in yesterday's video also we and the strange uh, you know, candles that go straight up, they go sideways a little bit and then come all the way back down. That's not normal. That's, I mean, there's volatility in the market, but I don't see that much vol volatility. I just don't. So there's something going on there. And then we see this. You s you've seen the news. Coinbase to relist wrapped Luna, 8 a.m. tomorrow, boom time. Now, it depends on what they're going to do here. Because a lot of people still are not going to be happy just because it's getting relisted. They want that to pay Luna 2.0 as the contract says it should. So tomorrow is maintenance day at Coinbase, also known as Twist a Knife Day. I'm guessing to fix their wrapped Luna tracking problem for the benefit, I take it not ours for their benefit. So they're not going to fix this uh price peg i don't think if they do i will be so surprised about that because i honestly don't see them making everyone rich like that and they're going to come up with some reason why they couldn't peg it to 2.0 i'm sure who knows we're gonna have to see tomorrow so the value of some of my wrapped luna in my ledger wallet and should reflect all your own personal balances too Per smart contract. Total fraud on behalf of Terra, Etherscan, Coinbase, and all other exchanges. See, Ledger already has it pegged to Luna 2.0. And this is from Ledger also. And I want to show you this, and I'm going to wrap up today's video with this. There it is. The wrapped Luna smart contract is ex executing correctly. But the value of the Luna in the contract will be changed to Luna Classics. Contract is immutable, but the variable 
The value of Luna in its is not since that value is on Terra Chain and can be changed. So, hi indeed. This is actually from Ledger support. Wrapped Luna Classic is tracking the wrong counter value. Rest assured that your cryptos are safe and Ledger Live reflects the correct amount of tokens. Our team is working on this counter value issue to fix it as soon as possible. Thanks for your patience. So are they going to change this to reflect Luna Classic? I mean, we've seen it before with Ledger where it's pegged to Luna 2.0. So are they going to try to pull a Coinbase here? We're going to have to wait and see. But with that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I'm going to watch it and see if any kind of exciting news comes out tomorrow as far as wrapped Luna being relisted on coinbase and i'll bring you any other news i can find i want to thank you all for watching and have a great night